I don't know about you, but I have always loved knockoff products. Not necessarily the product itself, but the naming is probably my favorite part. Like instead of Mountain Dew, you've got Mountain Lightning. Instead of Jenga, it's Falling Tower. Instead of Fruit Loops, it's Fruit Hoops. And I've seen this even more recently online with Chinese companies knocking off these really big brand names like Adidas is Abidas, or Crest is Crust, or Starbucks Coffee is Sunbucks Coffee, or DeWalt and the knockoff Makita. And one day when I was mindlessly scrolling through Instagram, this ad popped up on my feed for something that I knew was a total knockoff from a Woodpecker's product that I had seen before. But I thought, surely it can do what the Woodpecker's product can do. So I went to banggood.com, I added it to my cart, and waited three weeks for it to get to my door. And this is what showed up, a black 45 degree chamfer plane. And I gotta say, I was kind of impressed with the fit and finish. Everything seemed to line up. There wasn't any gaps in any of the, the fitment along both sides. So my initial thoughts were that it could be a decent plane. I mean, granted, I only spent $15 on it. Now here is what this plane is knocking off. The Woodpeckers Easy Edge CR50. And I gotta give a huge shout out to my buddy Keith over at KJ Sawdust for sending me this. He's a co-host on my podcast, Shop Sounds. It's me, KJ, and Jason Hibbs over at Bourbon Moth Woodworking. We're a woodworking podcast about nothing. If you haven't heard about us, go check us out on iTunes Podcast. But this is the original product that the Bang Goods is knocking off. And I gotta say, just the fit and feel and weight and everything about this feels legit. But why don't we go ahead and jump in and see how the knockoff does against the real deal. All right, so here on my assembly table, I've got a piece of pine set up with a plain stop. And I just wanna go over the quick differences that I already noticed just handling both of these. And the first one is on this cheap knockoff. There is a lot of play in this adjustment wheel. Oh, and also I want to preface by saying I already disassembled this plane and sharpened the plane iron the best I could just by hand. And it seems to be pretty sharp. It's got a really good edge on it. But I can tell that this assembly wheel or advancement wheel is just really loose. I think I'm going to have to really hold tight to that wheel to make sure that the plane iron doesn't advance or back off in the middle of a cut. So I'm just gonna advance this blade just a little bit, just so I can see it just barely poking out. I'm gonna back it off a little. Yeah, that's about good. And I'm gonna hold tight, and then I'm just gonna make one full pass here on this piece of pine. I figure pine is probably a good indication. It's soft enough that if I don't have a sharp iron that it will just crush and it will give me a good, easy edge to cut. Now that's not bad. I think sharpening really, really helped. But taking a small bite with this thing also really helped. Now the feel is just really annoying though, having to really be conscious of holding that wheel is just not what I'm looking for. So that's that one. Let me give a same feel. Ah, I can already tell this feels amazing. This adjustment wheel has just zero play, no slop. It feels great. So I'm gonna make a cut with this now. All right. Pretty nice cut. Very clean. And then here is the actual chamfer. You see that on that edge and it looks great. So they both accomplish the same job, but I think you're gonna be more happy with this because it feels better in your hand. There's no slop in the adjustment. But really, I think my tune has changed a little bit on this. It's not a bad plane if you don't feel like holding onto this adjustment wheel is an issue. But I think you get what you pay for. $15, $150. So I'm pretty impressed that this was able to hold its own and make a really decent chamfer, just like the Woodpeckers that is 10 times more expensive. But 
I am still not gonna recommend this as a product you run out and pick up because holding on to this adjustment wheel to make that cut is just annoying. And then there's like no good way to keep it there for your next cut to make it repeatable. You just have to hold it and pray. But I will recommend for all you that want to put an edge profile on by hand, but don't want to shell out the $150 for the woodpecker's version, take your block plane, and I'm going to assume that you do have a block plane if you're a woodworker, and you're going to want to make a sled for this thing. Here is the sled that I've made. It is a mixture of ash and walnut, the center being the ash cut at 45 degrees with the outside holding in my block plane. It just clips in. Some versions have magnets on the inside of it to hold the block plane to it, but I have such a snug friction fit, I didn't need it. So with this sled, you can easily use a block plane to put a 45 degree chamfer on all of your profiles and it be repeatable every single time. So on this same piece of pine, let me show you how it works. So a quick check to make sure we are square here and it is good. And we can just use our block plane, get our 45 here, Get right to the blade. And right there. Perfect chamfer all the way down. To wrap up this comparison, I'm gonna say the Banggood chamfer plane is a pass from me. I just don't think it's gonna be very much fun to use to really concentrate and hold that adjustment wheel as you make your cut and repeatability is gonna be kind of suspect. So this is a pass from me. Now, if money is burning a hole in your pocket, I would say pick up the Woodpecker's Easy Edge CR50. It's really well made. Repeatability is something that it can do, but it only does one thing. Even though it does it really well, it only does one thing, and that's make edge chamfers. Which brings me to my recommendation, and that is making your own DIY block plane sled. Not only can this cut chamfers at 45 degrees and it's repeatable, you can remove your block plane and still have a block plane. So I'm gonna definitely say make your own sled. And not only do you have a great looking sled that you've made, but you still have a block plane that you can do whatever else you wanna do with your block plane. All right, I'm gonna go put on my Abibus tracksuit and I will catch you guys in the next one.